Everybody and welcome back to my channel my name is Nosipo and if you haven't already and if you'd like to see more of my videos please click subscribe in the description box down below today's video is going to be a how to beginners makeup video tutorial thing whatever you want to call it basically I'm going to be showing you guys the different products that I use for my makeup and the different things that I think that if you want to be starting out in makeup and you want to get your face on fleek your face on fleek, <laughs> the different things that I think that you might need and that every beginner should have in their little beauty box. So I hope you guys enjoy the video and please don't forget to click subscribe, like and share and comment. Tell me what you guys would want to see in the next video if you'd want to stay around for that long. Let me know what you'd like to see and I'll try to get to making those videos for you guys. So I hope you guys enjoy the video and I'll see you guys in my next video. Love you guys and God bless. I wasn't gonna touch my lips. Girl, it took me forever to get these lips on. So, so let's yeah. get on to the products. So what I'm gonna start with now is the base products and then move on to everything else, which isn't much because I honestly don't put that much stuff on my face. The base products is pretty much all that I have, but we'll do that anyway. So the first thing that I'm gonna start with is something called a color corrector. So the color corrector that I have is this color correcting powder thing by Catrice. I'm pretty sure you can't see it, so I'll just put like a picture of it somewhere in the description. So basically what it does, this specific one is a powder, and you put it on your face and it basically kinda matches the different tones and the different shades that you have on your face so you don't look patchy, I guess, when you put on your makeup. So when you put on your one layer of foundation or however many layers of foundation you wanna put on, you already have an even base. And that actually helps you put on less foundation because nobody wants to walk around looking like a cake face <laughs> well that depends some people actually like the cake face the next thing that I'm gonna move on to is basically the next thing that I put on my face and that would be foundation so foundation is the next layer that I put on over the color correcting powder and everybody knows what foundation is all the man's is mad about the girls putting on foundation so I'm pretty sure everybody knows what a foundation is so basically you put it on Top of your skin has a second layer of skin, basically. Perfect definition of foundation. <laughs> but anyway, it's the base of any good makeup look. So you put it on and it just makes your face look flawless and perfect. Who don't want that? I want that. But just to add on, since it's pretty much in the same wavelength and I basically use them interchangeably I'm gonna show you guys my Mac studio fix I know this is something that you're supposed to put on at the end of your foundation look or rather end of your makeup look but I actually sometimes instead of using liquid foundation use this powder and the next thing that I'm gonna show you guys is my dream matte mousse and this is by Maybelline, yeah, Maybelline Dream Matte Mousse. And basically this is another form of foundation. So instead of a liquid, it's a cream. So you can pick and choose, I'm assuming, whatever it is that you want to use and whatever works for you. I just happen to have all of them. Yeah. <laughs> but I honestly don't use the matte mousse that often. I feel like it's a little bit heavy coverage for me. Um, I mean heavy coverage in the sense that I don't really have problem skin, so... It just looks a bit much for me personally not for everybody for me um, the next thing that I'm gonna move on to is a primer this is probably the first thing that you're gonna put on your face this order is whack but <laughs> anyway primer um, this one is the Prip and Prime by Mac a primer basically um, sets the tone for everything else that's gonna go on your face so the primer actually goes on first so when you put on the primer it like conceals your pores helps your face stay dry if I say dry yeah something like that but basically it's the base that you put on before you put on all the rest of your foundation I can't fully explain why you need it I just know that it works wonders so get yourself a primer and the next thing that I'm gonna be moving on to is Ah, okay, fine. This is my translucent powder. It's the one by Yardley, and I honestly just can't find the word. Like, I'm sorry, 
but it's basically a translucent powder. Look, you need the translucent powder because that kind of sets your face and helps to keep everything else in place. It kind of works just like the Studio Fix, which is actually probably a fixing powder anyway, so yeah, same thing in my opinion. But the reason why you do good for you have the reason why you do good to have one for yourself is because it honestly helps your makeup to stay on longer and stay on all day in my opinion just like the primer so translucent powder or a colored one if you want mine is actually a caramelized powder so the color is very close to my skin tone and the primer very important to have if you want long lasting makeup okay so the next thing that I'm going to be moving on to is a highlighter this one is the Sun Club All-in-One Bronzing Highlighter by Essence and it's actually an amazing highlighter. I mean if you can see my face, um, I have like this glow going on in my nose and above my bum console, <laughs> if I do say so myself. There's some highlighter on there and like the highlighter just makes your face pop man, it gives you that glow especially when you're in the sun. It's a beautiful glow, love it in pictures guys. Guys, just get yourself a highlighter, girl. You'll thank me later. Anyway, next thing that I'm going to move on to, the next thing that I'm going to move on to, is mascara. Mascara, guys. Everybody needs a mascara in their life. Um, it makes your eyes. It speaks for itself, I would say. These are my real lashes, but like mascara, just gives you life. Hmm? You wake up in the morning, you look all pretty, but when you put on the mascara, guys. Hmm. God is fine to tell you. So, mascara, get yourself a mascara. It's probably a little bit difficult to learn how to use for like beginners and stuff. But once you've got the hang of it, just know. Um, the next thing that I'm going to be moving on to is a darker shade of foundation basically but what this is supposed to be for me or what I use it for um, it's by black up it's basically just a cream foundation that is much darker than my skin tone as you can see well not much darker but like significantly darker so to create this little vibe that's going on over here I used this so contouring isn't something that everybody is into so if you're not into contouring don't do it, you don't need it. But I do honestly suggest that you do use it. It takes a little bit of mastery, honestly. It's also a little bit difficult to figure out how to use. But once you've got yourself a contouring powder or contouring stick, basically what that does is, once you've put on foundation, as you can understand, I mean, a normal face or somebody's face without makeup has all these dimensions and different lines and stuff just because of the shadows that um, your facial structure creates. But once you put on that one layer or two layers or tan hunty, if that's your vibe of foundation, then you basically take away all of those um, shadows and contours and everything on your face. So basically your face looks pretty one dimensional like a piece of paper, if you ask me. So nobody wants to be going around looking like that because it honestly does kind of look pretty unnatural. But when you contour your face, Brings all those shadows and all those shades and gives your cheekbones a little lift. Who won't want that? <laughs> I'm just kidding, but basically it brings back the life that you lost in your face by putting on all of that foundation. So the next thing that I'm gonna move on to now is a blush. Um, blush, mm, I'm not too into it. I have quite a few, but I'm not too too into blush. Um I don't know if I will eventually be into blush. I don't know. But I do use it sometimes, honestly. So a blush is a good thing to have. Um, it just brings back the rosiness in your cheeks. But the thing is, for me, the reason why I don't really like it is because black people don't have pink cheeks. And I feel like I'm pretty okay with that. So Now the next thing that I'm going to be moving on to is to oh, all these things should probably go together. Um, because I do kind of use them together. But basically, this is eye stuff. So, these two are, um, eyebrow pencils. So, an eyebrow pencil. I think you can see what an eyebrow pencil does. <laughs> but basically, it's for you to draw on your eyebrows, fill in the sparse places in your brows so that they pop. 
So this is what you would need, a brow pencil. Other people use like um, that brow paint pot gel thing. I don't know how to describe it. I just don't think I'd be able to use it because I'm a little bit heavy handed with the makeup. So I'd probably struggle to keep it look insane. So yeah, struggle with that so I don't really use it. But I use my pencils to create whatever shape and whatever look that I want. And so far that's done pretty good for me so I just use the pencils and then the next thing that I have here is a brow gel a clear brow gel and then I have this colored brow gel so a clear one it's upside down now <laughs> and a colored one but basically what these do is they fix your brows and set them in place so I would suggest that you use a colored one I think because it just adds to your look because um, once you've drawn your brows on especially if you're a bit heavy-handed it takes away the actual brow hairs in your brow. Not that it takes them away, but it masks them. So your brows look a little bit boxy and very, honestly, drawn on. And nobody wants that. Why do I keep saying what people want and what people... Actually, if you want that girl, do you? So the next thing that I have to show you guys, which I love, 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 is this. And this is my Fix Plus. So basically all that you do is you spray it on your face to set your makeup and can you see that glow? can you? <laughs> basically this is what it does, it sets your makeup and it also gives you the glow so it basically brings back the dewiness and the beautifulness into your face so I suggest it be something you consider buying when you want to get one and yeah I think that was the only stuff that I hadn't shown you guys everything else I did so I hope you guys enjoyed the video and please click subscribe, comment and I'll see you guys in the next video. I love you guys and God bless. Peace out, ciao. <laughs> I'm an idiot. Bye guys.